Welcome back. This is Rito here with another Terraria Calamity Let's Play episode. We are playing as Silas the Summoner, and we are playing on death mode. Last episode, we defeated the Wall of Flesh and the Giant Clam. And this episode, we've got Cryogen and Mechanical Bosses to defeat. Last episode, we also got a whole bunch of new weapons. I think this Ancient Ice Chunk, though, is my favorite. There were a few items that I forgot to craft, so let's go ahead and do those right now. We gotta craft the Grand Gelatin. It's pretty easy to farm all these up. They just are from the different color jellies. And then you just need Souls of Night, Souls of Light, and there we go. And the last thing I wanted to craft is the Cryogen Summon, the Cryo Key. Before we fight Cryogen, it'd be good to have some better wings, because we're still using Skyline Wings. And I think I'd rather do Demon Wings. I think those give us extra damage. Oh man, that's easy. <laughs> those guys pierce real nicely. That was not hard at all. Ten souls of flight, so we just need one more, and then we can craft our wings. There we go. Man, I'm feeling pretty powerful. Destroyed a wyvern before it even had the chance to lunge at us. And it looks like they may have changed this, because I thought it was higher damage and critical strike increase. Um, I thought it was like 10% before, but 5%, I'll take it. I think the Skyline Wings look a lot cooler than the Demon Wings, so I think I'll leave that on like this. It looks more like Angel Wings. So I built an arena in the Ice Biome, and it's just a simple, long arena. Okay, so now let's go ahead and try fighting Cryogen. I'm going to put our buffs on. Okay, let's do this. Honestly, this is kind of nice, fighting them in crimson, because there's a lot more contrast with the projectiles. When it's blue on blue, it's a little harder to see. Oh no. This boss does a lot of damage. Although we're doing pretty well here. Our summons are quite strong. Oh no. Yikes. <laughs> okay, let's go on with our rage. Oh my gosh, we took way too many hits there. Yeah, this is gonna be bad. Oh my goodness. Oh man, I forgot how hard these bosses are. So I think we need to take advantage of our long arena a little bit more. Looks like our summons might be struggling a little bit. Let's try these guys right here. All these fire guys. Let's see if they can land hits. Okay, we're doing zero damage per second. <laughs> okay, so those are not the solution. So, it's kind of tricky to try to scroll through my summons. Maybe we can try to do these. Get the clams stuck to the boss. Okay, maybe we need to use this. Okay, this is doing some consistent damage. That's actually nice. Of all the farming we did, is this the one that we're gonna use? The one we got from the Wall of Flesh? <laughs> I think it probably will be though. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think we at least found which weapon we should use. So one thing I learned when I was looking for more ore was that they've changed the way ore works in Calamity. I don't know when this happened, it might have been in the 1.5 update, but now when you defeat the Wall of Flesh it automatically spawns the Cobalt and Palladium, and that I knew about because I saw that we had that without breaking any altars. But then the altars now give um, Souls of Night, which is nice, it's an easy way to farm up a bunch of Souls of Night and reduces some farming. But then after that, you have to defeat mechanical bosses in order to start getting Mithril. And so the mechanical bosses, which one you fight first actually matters because now the first mechanical boss you fight is actually easier than the others. And then they slowly get more difficult and they unlock more ore. 
It's actually really cool, because then you don't just immediately skip past all of your Palladium and Cobalt stuff. You have to kind of use that stuff to your advantage. Okay, I gotta focus. 27 seconds until a heal. It's gonna reach the crazy phase at the end here. I'm very scared for that phase where it just like dashes at us. There's the favorite part of the music. Nine seconds till a heal. Four seconds. Ooh, I actually got adrenaline. There we go, heal. We might actually do this. I mean, really, it was me thinking that I couldn't leave the ice biome that really got me to struggle in this boss fight. Although now I'm starting to have a real struggle here. Okay, um, rage. All we needed to do is land a few hits. We gotta get out of here. Okay, come on, land some hits. No, we were so close, 3%. Man, our damage dropped off almost completely to nothing at the end. Okay, there's some rage. The amount of dodging I've had to do, I'm not even doing damage now. He moves too quick for my summons. I don't know what other summons I can get that might home in more on this boss, because these guys just can't keep up, and the ice junk cannot keep up at all either. I think the only other weapon I haven't tried yet is from Forbidden Fragments and the Sand Elementals. So I want to try defeating one of those and see if we can craft something good. I remember the Forbidden Fragments created the most amazing tome in the Magnus playthrough, so maybe it'll be a really good summon. There we go, Forbidden Fragment, and let's see what this crafts into. So this requires two, oh no, it requires Adamantite, and we can't get Adamantite because we need to defeat mechanical bosses first. In fact, maybe we should just defeat mechanical bosses. I'm sure the destroyer would be super easy with this. Let's get one more forbidden fragment, and then maybe let's do the destroyer. And that way we can at least get mithril, and we can get a few upgrades. Well, I finished off the sandstorm, and it's night, so let's go ahead and try the destroyer and just see. It was only doing one damage because the destroyer was still wound up, so hopefully now we'll do a little bit more. We need to zoom out. Uh-oh. We're in the center. Oh my gosh. So many lasers. Don't want to be under the boss. You're just going to have to jump through them. Okay. And we keep going under them. But it seems like we're doing decent damage. Okay, now we gotta go around him. Man, he's going, like, wrapping around us really well. Usually I can kind of fly over him. Okay, we're at 86%. Honestly, pretty good so far. Man, he seems so long. Oh no, we got hit by the face. This is probably going to be a wipe then. Ooh, so many lasers. Oh my gosh, that was that was insane. That was so close. Oh, another close encounter with the head. 
Okay, do some damage. Little guys, do some damage. Just gonna have to take some damage to avoid getting too constrained there. Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh, that was close. Oh, I wonder if that started some damage to him. Okay, we're at 37%. This has not been a clean fight. I got hit by the head once. So if I can manage to not get hit by the head, I will definitely be able to beat him. I'm just taking body hits as opposed to just getting stuck inside the worm's coil. Okay, we're getting pretty close here. Whoa, that was really close. Mm, way too close for comfort. 23 seconds until a heal. Oh no. Okay, that was better than hitting the head. I decided I was gonna dash and just wing it, see if I could. Oh, that was so close. Uh, why do I just keep getting the face right next to my character? He's going way more aggressively now. This is insane. Wow. We might get him. There we go, adrenaline. Just gotta line up some hits, and we got him! First try. That makes me feel much better. <laughs> Just choose a boss that's big enough for my summons to actually land hits on. And we got some greater healing potions. Those are nice. We need to actually get a whole bunch of those. So the main thing now is that we can get our next tier of ore. And if you notice, the boss didn't even drop hallowed stuff. Because normally you could craft some hallowed weapons or something. But in this, we won't be able to get hallowed until after we've defeated all three of them. So I'm just going to dig up all this ore, and then we'll be able to craft our mithril anvil and see if there's any more upgrades we can do. So we could craft a bunch of mithril. It gives us the opportunity to do a mithril anvil. We can put that here and probably go for a mithril pickaxe, even though there's no adamantite yet. We'll be able to get those ores later once when they do spawn. So this is a nice upgrade from our Shield of Cthulhu. The Evasion Scarf says true melee strikes deal 15% more damage. It grants the ability to dash and dashing into an attack will cause you to dodge it. After a successful dodge, you must wait 13 seconds before you can dodge again. This cooldown will be 50% longer if you have Chaos State. I really like the Evasion Scarf because then we don't have the issue where we dash into something and get stuck. Like on the Wall of Flesh, that would have been really handy when all those enemies were kind of blocking me. So let's go ahead and try Skeletron Prime. He might actually be pretty doable. We'll just have to see how fast he moves. I'm not hearing any attacks landing. <laughs> That's a bit disappointing. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, I guess we'll just keep on keep on going with these hands. Really, it's just DPS that's our issue right now. We can stay alive for a really long time. Oh no. Ah uh, man. We might we might lose. We have to survive for 30 seconds. Oh my gosh, not good, not good. Okay, so this time I want to go ahead and try fighting the eyes, the twins, and see if we can do damage to them. That's my main thing. If we can land hits, we'll be fine. It's like if we can get like a pace on this boss where we can land some consistent hits, then we can just pipe them across the world and we'll have adamantite unlocked. 
Although I just don't think that's really going to help us that much. I think the only thing I can make with Adamantite is the weapon from the desert. And I think that one is very similar to some of the other summons that I don't really like. There was some adrenaline. I think there was something with Death Mode where you wanted to get both eyes enraged at the same time, or you didn't want to do it. I can't remember. I'm going to enrage both of them, or get them to their second phase. Ooh. Man, once when you get hit, it's very unforgiving. Okay, at least we've got plenty of jump speed. And we're still doing damage, not very much, but we are doing damage. 7%, 6%, almost adrenaline. There we go. There we go. Okay, we'll target this guy, and this should be easy. Unless he goes berserk on us in his second phase. Which it seems like he might be. It seems like we're not landing any hits. Oh no. This is going to be bad. I'm not even in a good arena. I gotta get around to some platforms. Not sure how to survive this part. We're not doing any damage once again. Final phase of a death mode boss. Okay, well at least we can do a heal. Ooh, this is gonna be rough. Doing circles around this boss over and over until I lose. I'm gonna run out of night before I beat this boss, even if I can survive. It's like they're not even attacking him. Adrenaline, another heal. Okay, we just need to maybe try some different ones. We'll go with this. Maybe we can land the occasional hit. Okay, we are landing some hits here. Honestly, not really too sure what to do or what strategy to change because I was dodging that guy for a full night with him in his second phase. So I might have to end that episode there because I think I need to do some research and watch some videos and see how other people are handling summoner in early hard mode because I'm just not getting the strategy right. If I had any other weapon type, I don't think I'd be having a problem with cryogen or with the twins or anything like that. It's just that fast moving end phase of a boss is really hard for any of these summons to do damage against. I hope you have enjoyed this video even though it was a little bit of a rough one. Um, it is definitely a challenge that I'm not used to, to use summons and not use just my normal weapon types. But it'll be good to learn it, 
it's my gap in knowledge in Terraria, so I'm glad that I'm finally forcing myself to learn how to do summons. And I hope you're enjoying this process, seeing me learn and grow as we go. If you are, be sure to like and subscribe so you can catch the next episode. Next episode, I'm determined. We are going to defeat Cryogen and hopefully the other two mechanical bosses as well. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.